Hi, welcome to my Godot from Zero tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a few things about how you can use the camera and some UI elements to make your project feel a little more like an actual game. First of all, let's take a look at the player. If we just open the player scene, I'm going to give the player its own camera. We can search for camera 2D in the new nodes option. So we just right click, add a new child, camera 2D. By default, this isn't actually gonna do anything. We need to go over here into the inspector and set the camera to current. That essentially turns it on. Now if we run this, we can now see everything moving relative to the player because the camera follows the player around. So wherever we go, so does the view. Nice. Now the next thing I wanted to do was to actually reward points when destroying something. Now what we can do for that is first of all create a label and put some text on it just for sample stuff, sample text. Just so you can see what happens. And right now the text is just written in the world and it's going to scroll with it because our camera is moving. We don't want it to do that. Instead, we usually want it to just be sticking to one corner. The way to do that is we can give the world a canvas layer. A canvas layer is basically just a separate space which ignores the camera that's inside of this space. So if we put the label in here, let's take a look. It's now stuck in the corner. It's always going to stay there. So let's change the label around a bit. Um, text label. Uh, no, we don't actually want space there. Okay, let's align it. If we go and lay out up here, we can tell it how to align it. So we can put it into the top right corner. So now it's always going to show up in the top right of the screen. To make sure this works correctly, there's a few more things we want. We want the grow direction to be to the beginning. So now if we type here, it's going to grow in this direction and not go off screen. Additionally, we're going to want, uh, let's see, you can see when I remove something here now, it's going to leave an empty space here. To get rid of that, align to the right. And that's basically all we need for this. Now if we type something, it goes here. If we remove something, it goes back. Now what we can do is we can just say points, colon, space maybe, and it doesn't really matter. And let's duplicate that. Let's get a second one and put a number in here. Zero. Now currently these are overlapping. What we can do is we can create a new node and search for hbox container. An HBox container is another UI node, so a control, that makes sure things are next to each other. So if we just drop these two labels in here, well, they're going to be over there, but they are next to each other now. This one here now also needs to be aligned to the top right again, and to have its grow direction set to begin, so it goes in this direction instead of off screen. Nice, that pretty much takes care of the points. Now we want to actually increase the points whenever we destroy a box. So the brown Godot icons. Now the box currently doesn't have any code. So instead let's go into the projectile because that's what's actually deleting the boxes. So we can use that to add some code to this. Let's see, what are these called? Let's give this names so we can easily work on them. Text label and point label. Go back into the projectile script. Here is what happens whenever we hit one of these boxes. So what we can say is first of all we need to get access to the label. So var label equals. Now where is the label relative to our projectile? Our projectile actually gets added in the world inside of the same list the player and the boxes are on. 
So our canvas layer here is actually a sibling. It's on the same level. So what we can do is we can go into the code and say get parent. That gets us the world scene and then dot get node. And from here we can give it a path and specify exactly where the scene is. Now we know the scene is in canvas layer, hbox container and then point label. So we can just type that canvas layer slash hbox container slash point label. And if that isn't typed incorrectly, that should be fine. So now we can say stuff like var label dot text is equal to test. Let's see if that works because, um, oh yeah, obviously. No, don't actually redefine it. We already defined it here. So just label dot text equals test. So now if I destroy one of these, the zero should be replaced by the word test. And so it is. So now instead, let's take the label dot text and turn it into a number. The way we can do it is we turn it into an integer since we only take the numbers 0, 1, 2 and so on. We don't have something like 0 0.75 points. So if we put int and then brackets around this, we're going to take in the text and it's going to try to turn that into a number. Now we want to increase that by one to increase the points. And lastly, we want to turn this back into a text element. Now a text element called a string. So what we can do is str, short for string, and put that around this entire thing. So now the increased number is again turned into text. This here is also a string. This is the notation with a little quotation mark. That is the notation for how to define a string. But using this command here, we can turn a number or any other object that's compatible into a string. So let's see if this works. And we gain a point. Let's try again. And we gain another point. And we gain another point. So now we can move around, we can shove these things wherever we want. And if we destroy them, we can gain points. I'd say that's some progress, but that will be all for today. Bye.